Good day guys, Mr. May here with another episode of the Gondor campaign for Game Decider TV. Um, this is our first battle of this Let's Play, so I hope you guys enjoy it. A small army or you know, army of uh, 1,000 uh, orc, orcish soldiers marched across here and actually besieged Minas Tirith, which is um, a random little thing here. So I just pulled some militia out of Osgiliath, hoping for the best. A um, couple of generals as well, and let's fight this battle here. So, Stuart Denethor, that crazy guy from the movie. Uh, from Return of the King, he's leading the second army. Alright, can no, I'm gonna be controlling him, so yes, all good, all good. Let's get on to the fight here. Now if you would have looked to the right hand corner back then, you would have seen that's been quite a few turns since the last episode. I took into all your guys um your tips and everything and your your um ways to better this. So um originally I did say it in the last uh, episode that I was going to limit the amount of time you guys actually just watch me do uh economic building because it gets boring so I skipped a couple turns I fought the Har um, the Haradrid in one small battle it was like you know maybe about 200 against 300 so that's it that's really happened this is the first major one and um, I hope you guys really enjoy this because it's the first time I've played as Gondor and I'm, it, I'm enjoying it so far I really like the units actually so let's just get the cav ready here I like the way the units look as well Especially these are like the, the lower tier units. Okay, there's the orcish soldiers there. Let's see what they're comprised of. Little orc scouts. Some heavy maulers there. Let's just bring up Denethor first. We'll combine the two armies. Right, these guys are just arriving on the field now. Okay. These guys are just charging on. Way too eager to get into the fight there. So what we'll do is we'll... Are these... Yeah, the guys are all here. We'll bring them up there. Skip back over here. We'll line them up, so we'll get this guy to join the militia melee line. Get the archer up front. We'll bring the cav around the side. Actually, I think the maulers are on that side. So what we'll do is we'll use the cav on this side. We'll send two, send the, these generals there as well. So There's going to be a massive cav um, hammer and anvil. And we'll send Denethor and this guy to hold. Center. I still laugh at this guy. I can't. <laughs> Everyone else is like these epic characters, and this guy's like, "Hello." It's just some guy. He's probably part of the development team or something. Okay, so we'll just speed this up, of course. We let all the units meet up. Shouldn't take too long. So actually, um, what I learned from you know, looking at the comments from the last video, you guys seem to really enjoy the whole lore part of Lord of the Rings. There was a massive discussion going on. Um, there's a pretty positive response as well. Um, you know, I've got to thank you guys for hitting the like button and everything. It's cool to see the work that, you know, I like the videos that I record and uh, people actually enjoy. So, thanks for that. I'll keep this up as long as I, you know, as long as I can. And I hope you enjoyed this episode more than the last one because there's an actual battle in this one. Okay, so all the units can position here, I think. There are the archers and everything. Yeah, there's the archers. Okay, so these guys are obviously going to get hit by a hell of a lot of missile fire during the start. So we get rid of their general with a hammer and anvil there. They're going to get hit by a lot of archer fire, but they're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so let's move up the first units here. We've got the generals. The arrows are probably going to start flying off soon. Here we go, so we'll slow this down. Oh, too slow. Let's get this guy into position. Already getting picked off. Right, 
Right, Archer Militia, show them what you can do. So we're going to actually do those. We're going to target their heavy orc maulers, which I'm pretty sure fire arrows do better damage to um, armored units. So we want to focus on those guys. They're attacking us. Now one of those goes right in the head. We'll do it. We'll do a full charge in a second here. We'll see how many volleys we can get off. can't aim at all. Another volley guys. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Shall prepare the guys for a full melee charge. After the next volley. So once these guys are locked into combat, I'll then begin my hammer and anvil strike. Move the general up. Okay, let's get this done. So bring these two fellas in as well. Bring them around here. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, we just gotta watch their numbers, that's all. Okay, let's come down the hill here. Big charge. This guy's smashing into the orc mobbers there. Let's pull out of that charge now because that went really that wasn't too good. They stalled there. It's like they stopped for a second. Pretty sure we've defeated the orc maulers. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, let's get another charge into here. This guy's quick. Look at him go. Let's get a hit on the orc raiders here. we go. <laughs> oh, that was sick. That was absolutely awesome. That that weird noise the orcs make it just sounds crazy. So we captured the enemy general there. I think his name was Snagger or something. I think relatively few mana losses other than from the arrow fire, I think. I dude was on his knees, that's how happy he was. This guy's actually coming back. See if we can get a good charge on these guys. Nice. That should be the end of that. Right now, yeah, we've got a last stand from these mortal scouts. Yeah, bows are cool. So they're like attack bows. So you can swing with them in close quarters. Okay, so that's basically it for them. That was an awesome victory. Sorry that I just skipped that way too quick. Just hit the could have just hit the pause button there. I think it was like they lost 880 to my um. I lost 100. Interesting battle. Execute the orcs, of course. So these guys have to head back to Oskilia. And I'll develop an army soon enough to take out this town. Hopefully very soon.
you can see here I'm trying to stock up the units there to prevent any further attacks. Um, let's go check out all my places. High tax must be, you know, really kicking in there. It's been a while. Let's get a road set up. How many more turns for this? Three more turns for the barracks. Okay, jump over. We'll check out the navy, the Gond Gondorian navy here. I believe I was trying to follow down their trade routes. There we go. Cut off their trade for Ambar. That's where I'm pretty sure their like finest pirates come from. Pretty sure that's where they sailed from um, when they're coming to Pelennor Fields here. Is the yeah, Pelennor Fields would be around here, right? Because Ministerius Pelennor Fields. This is where they came up, and that's the port, I believe, where Aragorn and thing got off after visiting. The Misty Mountains, is that what they, no, no, they, they came from uh, the place, anyway, you know, you know what I'm talking about, from Return of the King when they go to the, to recruit the ghost, it should be actually, it shouldn't be far from here because in the movie they say they're not too far, like a day's ride from Pelennor Fields, and then with the Rohirrim, and the Rohirrim come from here, so I don't know, somehow they got into a boat. I think it came down this way. They must come down this way then. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back into this. So we'll get the build a watchtower. That that actually might benefit me a lot. Building a watchtower here. So I can see Kyandros there. Right, I really need to take that back. Okay. What can you guys get? Chicken farmer of the utmost importance. Probably grab some of that. Says I'm gonna make making it less than last turn. Must be because of the new recruitment. Okay, we could actually launch an attack on Osgiliath, but I don't think it's time yet to do that. What I might actually do, I'm actually launch this like a preemptive strike against Keandros and take it. These guys seem to be decently defended for now. What I need to do is focus on some archers because I don't have any archers whatsoever. What I'll do actually is I'll I'll keep the army here and I'll wait for another turn. Oh, for two turns, then I'll send in these armies. Here, so also I believe I was re retraining some soldiers here. Yes, I was. What was that banner? What was that thing he had there? Hydrid banner, symbol of crushing victory against the armies of Herat. Nice. They're not gonna like that. Let's just check out here. I don't think any navy is coming up behind. Nope. Very small navy, but very quick. You can see all that trade though. Where's that heading to? I wonder. Must be heading out to all these towns. Uh, and one of my um, viewers on this said said to try gain peace with the Haradrid, but yeah, doesn't work. Is I'll show you now. I can even offer him money. I tried before, like a thousand per for like five turns. If you guys know a different way, I can barter for peace. I'm more than like yeah, more than happy to hear it out. Oh, got to move that army back. Oh, are they really going to besiege Ministerith again? Alright, just grab my units again. Mr. Happy Dude over here. See if they really besiege it. Oh, we're out of money for that. We need to save up. So that, that little army should flee. Okay. Let's 
So now we're moving on here. And turn report. Oh, I'm not leading anything here. Local mining network. I think that was a local mining network set up at Dol here. Yep, that's where I ordered it. So we're gonna save up one more turn to get some more money for the mines. We can finally get the classic Gond Gondorian infantry here, which is gonna be sick. I love I love the way these guys look. Especially if any of you guys remember the good old the good old game um Battle for Middle Earth, which was an awesome game. Everyone loved that game. So we'll just send these guys in there. Okay. So this army will be... I'll send this army over now to Keandros. I'll defeat that little army in front of me first. A little stubborn, eh? They're very stubborn. There we go. So we paid for the mining facility. Grab some Condorian infantry here. Where are you running? Okay. Just fill up the units here. Okay. We have to recruit a lot more units next turn to make sure it's safe. Okay. He's happy, dude. For long. Bastion of respect. Okay. Pretty sure we can take uh, Andros with a simple little sage. Now we're gonna have to start being um a bit more prepared though, seeing as this will be my first like retaliation against the, the orcs of Mordor. Okay, it's probably better to get a siege tower. Oh no, it's alright. Very little units in there anyway. Need to get a better barracks already because it's going to take forever to get new units. Let's get some of those guys here. We'll send them down to Oskiliath. Never know when these crafty orcs will attack. So down to Skiliath there. Let's recruit some more militia just to cheer up the town and make sure there's some defense. Let's take care of Andros here. Vadzag. He's dead. Nice. Awesome, that's how we do it. Okay, so let's grab a farm here. I still have a feeling we have to beef up more more of my defenses around these areas in case the Harajir launch a an attack. There we go, got a thousand gold. So let's jump to the next turn here. All these dudes are getting married. What do you want us to take? So is that a rebel town behind us? Might be able to do that. I'm not sure yet. I'm very, I'm very hesitant to leave the front line to you in case the orcs launch an attack, because you all know the orcs can field lots of units very quickly. Oskileth is gonna, I know already Oskileth is gonna need more units to defend, and I'll try to accommodate as quickly as I can. I'm more worried about here though, because the Haradrid seem to be, um, after launching their first attack here, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna launch another one soon enough. I really want to watch my lands. Increase tradable goods here. Okay, so we'll jump one more turn. Okay, so it looks like they are setting up an attack here. 
So we're going to need to send some units down. Very quickly so. Okay. Send some militia down to garrison the walls. So if we can maybe prevent them from launching an attack. And now I think we go to the point where we've got to save up to build some more farms here and there. That's all just going to boost and bring in more income. It would be such a tense place to... Whoa, what's happening here? Well, hey, I thought... I'm not liking that, that this crossing here. I'm not liking that at all, because... The point of this building should be able to stop them. That, that's that's disappointing that they don't do that. Okay, so this Orcish general just came out of nowhere. Launch an attack here. Probably not going to have time to recruit those units. Okay, so we're in a pretty crazy position here. We've got two armies. This is probably around a thousand men here. Maybe around two thousand at max doesn't look like any major units that I have to really be afraid of but I am gonna have to send down if I can get them in there I, I doubt it yes I can let's send in this fellow he looks cool with his helmet Get him inside there Got to repair the keep retrain the soldiers there and we're in a pretty crazy position here so we're gonna have to defend in the in the next episode you're gonna have to wait for it but thanks thanks guys for watching this episode hit the like button subscribe make sure you do if you have the chance, jump over to my channel um, to check out the Napoleon Darth mod and the Third Age Orcs of the Misty Mountains and um, the my Roma Serectum Let's Play so you guys can check that out. I'm going to be doing a couple more uh, games on my channel. The Hitman game is going to be coming soon to my channel, so check that out. Thanks guys for watching again. Mr. Made out. And subscribe to Game, Game Decider TV.